Okay, the feature I'm going to talk about now is called the spurious noise filter. Now, sometimes it can be desirable to apply a filter which looks at the image for any salt and pepper spurious noise. These can be from a number of sources really. They can be any remaining amplified dark current. They can be from any remaining clock induced charge noise. They can even be from background photons. So for some experimental conditions, it can be desirable just to make that background outside of the actual subject that you're imaging as black as possible, rather than doing it after the fact. So um, that's possible with this filter. What I've shown here, and again, this is why the more ambient, the ambient conditions are dimmed, is a dark image. And I've deliberately lengthened the vertical shift speed to create more clock induced charge. So what we can see running live on screen is kind of a speckly salt and pepper background, again, with deliberately heightened clock induced charge. But in an experiment, this may as well be photons in the background. So all we do, having opened up the spurious noise filter dialog, and we've selected real time, post processing is also possible, but we'll run it here real time, is choose from one of the selection of available algorithms. So we have median, level above, and interquartile range. Now uh, these descriptions are given within the manual of the EMCCD camera, so I'll not go into it here. Um, but let's just choose the level above, and I can just apply that in real time. And you can see the speckly nature of the image has become drastically reduced by the real-time application, again, within the FPGA of the camera um, of the spurious noise filter.